and give the floor to the representative of the Syrian Arab Republic. Shukran, Sayyid Rais. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The special envoy indicated at the opening of his statement today that the Syrian people has suffered for a period of uh, that is longer than the Second World War. This is true. What he says is correct. However, as you are aware, every story has a beginning and an end. This is why it is impossible to summarize what you in uh, the August Council uh, call the Syrian crisis and to reduce that crisis to a few formal remarks, even though these remarks may be important in nature. You should exercise your memory and not forget how this crisis started and the masked roles played by some governments, some of who are members of this council, roles that fabricated this crisis, the conditions and and created the conditions to exacerbate it in order to serve the agendas for interference of these governments to change the geopolitics in my region. Let me remind you a very minor detail, but a very important one in the uh, setting I am describing. This is the detail. The televised appearance of the former Prime Minister of Qatar on national uh, television during his uh, during the broadcast, he admitted that Qatar and Saudi Arabia spent $137 billion to destroy Syria following the orders of their American masters. This statement was made by the former Prime Minister of Qatar Qatar, Mr. Hamad. You will all recall that he came to the Security Council in 2011 in order to uh, pit you against the Syrian state. Uh, he said on Qatari television that Qatar and Saudi Arabia stepped 100, uh, spent $137 billion to destroy the state of Syria. And I'm just talking about two states. Is it not legitimate then uh, to uh, uh, make the link uh, between uh, the statement of these Qataris and the, uh, uh, the appearance of Daesh, uh, al-Nusra, and other uh, terrorist organizations in countries uh, in other countries besides Syria, like Sudan? Is this not a legitimate question? Any reasonable, any wise person might think that this terrorist organization, which has uh, with these terrorist organizations, which have suddenly appeared, did not uh, spring from a vacuum or from outer space. That's the question I have for you, dear members of the council. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, I mentioned this before, and I shall mention it again. It is time, high time today, to read the situation in Syria objectively and properly in order to help the Syrian government to get rid of the terrorist war, which, uh, with the help of our allies, is finally winding down. This reading is also necessary to eliminate what remains of Daesh, uh, the al-Nusra Front, and other affiliated groups. This is what should be done. Instead of adopting radical positions in order to exercise blackmail over the people and government of Syria 
and to extend this war and broaden its destructive effects on Syria and the rest of the region and the world. That's what should be done, so repeating the formulas that failed in the past and that destroyed more than one country. It is high time for people to stop disassociating themselves from reality, to give up the last of their illusions, to become aware that they will not be able to get through politics what they were unable to get through terrorism and by sponsoring terrorism. Mr. President, the government of Syria has demonstrated its openness to all initiatives or sincere efforts to get us out of the current crisis. This is the reason why, as you are aware, based on our national responsibility and in the interest of our people, we have demonstrated commitment and cooperation with the efforts of the United Nations, either during uh, the leadership or Mr. Annan or Mr. Lakhdar Ibrahimi or under the leadership of Mr. Stefan de Mistura. We welcome uh, the appointment of Mr. Gary Patterson as the new Special Envoy of the Spe uh, Secretary General for Syria. And we are prepared to work closely in cooperation with him. Today, I reiterate once again the willingness of the Syrian government to take an effective part in any serious effort to reach a political solution, a solution where Syrians alone will decide on their future through inter-Syrian dialogue and under Syrian leadership. This, these solutions are based on the fact that the people of Syria are the only owners of the right of defi uh, defining their country without foreign interference, guaranteeing the sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity of Syria. These are elements that have all been confirmed in international law, the United Nations Charter, and the 30 relevant resolutions of this Council. Mr. President, the success uh, of a political uh, the solution in Syria depends on the close coordination with the Syrian government on the various issues at hand. Success uh, is also calls for international commitment and real political will to fight against the remaining terrorist organizations and to put an end to the presence of illegitimate foreign um, forces on our territory. There should be no for further obstacles uh, put before the sincere efforts of the Syrian government to reach the political situation we all long for. Uh, uh, almost eight years after the imposition of this dirty war on my country, it is important to focus on a strange paradox, which is as follows. There is a clear contradiction between the deeds and the words of certain states, and I quote, uh, uh, between uh, uh, there's many a slip between cup and lip, uh, as the saying goes. How can we follow the words of these countries when they say that uh, the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Syria has to be respected? The Syrian uh, uh, solution is the only solution. And how can we uh, make this uh, jibe with the actions of these countries? The invasion of some parts of Syria, the military support uh, given, uh, uh, as well as uh, the support of uh, political groups uh, that do nothing but create obstacles to a solution. These states uh, continue to rely on the failed formulas of the past. They're desperately trying to uh, create uh, an image of a country uh, which is in confrontation with itself. And all of this is at the service of the projects of Israel and its allies to assassinate the Palestinian cause. And to this we add the attempts to describe foreign terrorists which have come in from all parts of the world as Syrian freedom fighters. Then they talk about the moderate uh, opposition. Let me introduce a few figures uh, of this moderate opposition to you. These eminent figures have been genetically modified in uh, 
their parent countries to become a Syrian uh, opposition. These are Abu Omar al-Shishami, Abu Mugdad al-Turki, al Abu Musad al-Faudi, Abu John al-Baritani, Abu Muhammad al-Tunisi, and so on and so forth. Abu Muad al-Turkistani, Abu Hafsa al-Mafri, Abu Abdu Abdurrahman al Kanadi, Abdu Abdullah al Tani, al Kuwaiti, al, al Daoud of uh, Belgium, Abu Walid of Australia, Abdul Hakka, and uh, the Mufti of the Al Nusra Front, uh, who is from Saudi Arabia. These are the prominent figures of the moderate armed Syrian opposition, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can see the true political intentions of these rights, uh, of these states come to light under the bright lights of the chamber. For eight years, uh, they have uh, never stopped supporting terrorism and investing in a grave moral contradiction. This has led to numberless uh, tragedies and, suffer and the suffering of the innocent Syrian people. Mr. President, the Constitutional Committee emerging from the Syrian National uh, uh, Dialogue uh, Conference in Sochi should be established as soon as possible. and. We are prepared to do so. We were the first uh, to provide uh, the list of invited members. The government of Syria has worked very seriously with its uh, allies to overcome the obstacles imposed by some parties to prevent the formation of this committee. Nobody has a right to doubt uh, the Syrian government's support uh, of this process. Nobody has the right uh, to doubt our commitment at the outcome of the Sochi conference in particular. The special envoy uh, has been a facilitator of uh, this uh, uh, con uh, committee. We support him. We continue to do so, but nobody can be a self proclaimed uh, participant in this process following the UN uh, uh, qualities of transparency and non-interference in uh, the affairs of member states. This is what the founding fathers of this organization say. And we ourselves took part in the creation of the United Nations in, in 1945. Let me recall once again that the Constitution and all relevant issues uh, are a purely sovereign issue decided by the state itself without foreign interference. It is unacceptable to set preconditions or jump to conclusions about the work of the committee and its recommendations. The committee is autonomous. The committee itself will decide what recommendations it is to make. It is unacceptable to impose a timeline or an artificial deadline on the work of the committee. This would be counterproductive because the Constitution is to define the future of Syria for generations to come. To conclude, uh, Mr. President, my country, Syria, has always demonstrated that it is serious when it comes to working on the inter-Syrian uh, government for a political solution without foreign interference. The fight against terrorism is the priority at all stages of the political process. All honest Syrians are called upon to take part in this political process in accordance with the national principles in order to move forward with the reconstruction of what terrorism destroyed. This reconstruction has already begun, thanks to the effort uh, efforts of Syrians faithful to their country. We, all, uh, we are doing the same to guarantee the return of refugees and displaced persons to their homes. We are confident that all Syrians will take into account uh, this truth. 
The solution can only be a Syrian solution, the solution reached through a credible political process in our homeland, not in Istanbul, not in Doha, not in Riyadh, not in Washington, but in our homeland. This is a solution that must be realized in Syria, according to principles uh, with the Constitution and all other related issues are sovereign, decided solely by the Syrian people. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Syrian Arab Republic for his statement. And I